still feel very confident. I still like the roster. I still like how I still like the thought process of how they put it together. But the flaws showed themselves yeah. multiple times. Um, so, so on a to that to that point, and, and you, you mentioned Bam. I think the larger question, which a lot of people are asking, is you know, when you go down the list of who we could have had. There's not a, there's not a ton of obvious options. I mean, so there's, assuming Bam's not playing because of the finals run, and AD's not playing because of you know health reasons, it's like Jared Allen, Robert Williams. So I guess the larger question that it, it, like existentially that a lot of Americans are having right now is like, why don't we have any bigs? Because if you look at the top 15, 20 centers in the NBA right now, there's not, a, it's not like there are a bunch of guys sitting at home who are like, why didn't you call me? Yeah. So I, I don't know what the answer to that is. That a, is that like a grassroots thing or is that just is like, is this a thing that we're going to be living with well, for the next? <laughs> well, I think some of it is how the NBA operates now where give you an exa another example, Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon would have been great on this team. He would have been great on this yeah. team. There's enough guys that are USA representatives that could have filled out this roster. Whether they asked and said, no, I don't know. Aaron Gordon just won a championship. He probably didn't want to play in the FIBA World Cup. I get it. Maybe they didn't even ask him. I get all that. It's one of the challenges. And because not only, not only just the back-to-back -back years, I think inherently, right, we tend to glorify in the United States the Olympics over the World Cup. These games are on at 4.40 in the morning. Uh, you know, the, the medal round was on at 8.40. Like, it's not a priority to put our best, best team and best players forward. And it's not a priority for those guys to commit to this. And that's not a, that's not a, I'm not blaming anyone. That's just been the reality. Yeah. And, and now you factor in the fact that it's back-to-back -back years. You're going to find this. Uh, we should mention this. Shams earlier today tweeted out uh, LeBron committed to Paris. Or is commit? You know, wants to commit to Paris. Wants to be on the team. Uh, Katie and Steph want to be on the team. Um, I I think we'll put our best team forward, regardless of what happens with the playoffs and the deep finals run. I think we'll put our best team forward next year. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I I I, I do think though this size thing, and maybe maybe it is Gordon. Maybe this is Bam playing. I mean, people have talked about if there's a way to get Joel onto this team, um, is going to rear its head again. I mean, even so, then the Lithuania game. Uh, we got out. Uh, we got out rebounded by seventeen, and they they uh, collected I think fifty three or fifty four percent of their misses. Yeah, as and, offensive and, rebounds. And by the way, like Sabonis wasn't playing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like one of the best rebounds in the well, wasn't so playing. So that's uh, going back to Kerr's comment. I think that's important to note, right? Jokic didn't play for Serbia. Yeah. They had a they had a bunch of injuries. Yeah, right. They got to the championship without game without Jokic, <laughs> and I think that's where the continuity comes into play. And I think that's where the human nature of pride comes into play. And I'm not saying our guys aren't prideful. I'm saying inherently in our culture, the Olympics are more important. I want to do this real quick. Who would you like to see on the Olympic team? Let's, let's go through. Let's fill out our ideal Olympic dream team. Dream team seven. For I know, 24. Seven? I don't know. <laughs> For 24 Paris. Okay. I want Steph on the team. Yeah. No, <laughs> never, no, no gold. He needs one. I want KD. I want LeBron. There's 12 spots. Yeah. Oh, we need a big. I want Bam. Book. I want Book for sure. I want Tatum. We probably want another wing, right? Mm -hmm. Is there any world Kawhi's playing? I want Donovan Mitchell. I want Paul George. Give me more bigs. Let's get Joel. Pipe yeah, dream. Put him in. Let's get Joel. Put him in. I don't know how that works. I mean, I think we but need. I've seen it on Twitter. I think we need a couple. There's going to be a couple guys from this team on there next year. I, I want. Think, I want Ant and I want Tyrese. Yeah, I think. I think Kale will be there for the defense. Mikel. Yeah. So I've put One, those two, three on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh shit! AD. I want AD. With twelve. <sighs> That's thirteen, I think. All right. No Joel, because for now, yeah, for now, yep. And not because I don't want him on the team. But I think that's your team. That's the team. There you go. Yeah. Going back to that conversation, though, about judging NBA players by FIBA performance. just want to point a couple things out. Okay. Early in his career, granted, uh, on that 2010 team that won gold, Kevin Durant took the most shots on the team. He was the only person that scored double figures, averaged over 22 a game. Next closest score, I think, averaged eight a game. On that team, Steph took the third fewest shots 
and had the fourth fewest minutes. Derrick Rose, 23 minutes a game, seven points, three assists, pedestrian numbers. He won MVP the next year. And the Bulls won 60 games yeah. and made it to the conference finals. Can we not do that? Yeah. Please. All right. How much? Is, how I was thinking about this uh, last night. How Actually, much is, in, how about this? In 14, that team was loaded, by the way. 14, this is another reason not to judge FIBA and NBA. Here's the, here's the top six scorers on that team. The team was loaded, by the way. Not even including DeMarcus Cousins, DeMar DeRozan, and Derrick Rose in the top six scores. James Harden, second was Clay, third was a young AD, fourth leading score was Kenneth Fareed, fifth leading score was <laughs> that's Kyrie. A good, that's a good trivia question. Sixth leading score was Steph, and he only shot 40.8% from the field in, in nine games. Just the Fareed being stuck in there. Is like <laughs> The hustle play. He's a good player on that team. He's a man. great player. I'm just like you never like you could have had a hundred guesses. He thrives. You would have never guessed that 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 would have been that. FIBA. Uh, 